popped outside to film what it looks like to after an airbag have gone off in your car. This is a Volvo S40. And as you can see, it actually bursts out of the steering wheel, it actually cracks the plastic. That's that's the correct way it goes off, I presume. It actually bursts out of the steering wheel. Ooh, good. Excuse me. It scares me every time I accidentally press my own blooming car horn. SRS airbag, it says there. So it actually breaks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's just me bending that plastic on. So, boom. Bag comes out. B04 and then there's also 1182 and there's some kind of a uh, barcode there. Barcode, okay. So the bag's intact but it deflates. You, I don't know at what point it actually deflates. Um, And where it deflates from, I don't know. Does it actually come out of the bag itself? It feels like a kind of a nylon-y material, quite a strong material. And there you go, and then just to see where else it comes out from the... You see, it just bursts out, cracking the plastic on your um, steering wheel. How amazing, I mean, it was... First time I've had airbags go off on me, fortunately. And, um, interesting just to see how it works. So, what are those bits up there? A couple of little metal bits up there, don't know what they do. Don't know, but anyway. And it's got a little, like a metal tray that it sits in there. So that's where it comes flying out of. Right, so that's the steering wheel one, so that went off. And then to my side, to protect my head from being hit on the side, um, the side bag goes off. And as you can see, that's just like, that's just like a sheet bit of material. There's no actual bag part there. I guess it's this part here that was, maybe had air and it's now completely empty. Um, so again, the air comes out of this somehow. I don't know how that works. And that goes all the way along the side of the car, even to the back passengers. So all, all along that side, this one's gone off. Um, where does this burst out of? So that comes out of... Uh, you can see up there, it's kind of... Can you see that? It's like a metal bar up there. And you can see it's tied up there. So it just bursts out of the top from the plastic trim area. Oh, hold on a second. So yeah, you can see the material here has come away. So this bursts out of the side of your car, knocking the trim out. No problem with that, and that's where you've got your handle to help you get out. So it's just below that, all along the side. And it comes down to about your shoulder height. That's probably about... I don't know, 25, maybe 30 centimetres, that, that's to the side, so to bring your head. And then also, from my impact area, you get one that bursts out for the passenger side. And you can see that really rips apart everything. I mean, that's... Oh, that's really stiff now. Wow. So, that burst out of the dashboard there. That... I don't know if that's metal. It feels like metal. In fact, I'm pretty sure that is metal. That is, wow. I mean, that leaves you with that edge there. I presume the bag's in front of it when it goes off. But, uh, auto roof, whatever that is. So that bursts out there, breaking all of the dashboard foam. You can see it's foam. I hadn't noticed that little foam over this kind of plastic material. Here's the air bag. This one's a different one. That one's kind of got a lightish, a weird turquoisey blue compared to the cream one of my dashboard. Now look, there you go. That's where the air comes out of eventually. There's a big hole. So after it's inflated, it must then slowly deflate 
from a hole there. Where's the hole in this one? Oh, there you go, there you go. There's a hole at the top where the air comes out, and that's about the size of a tangerine, so you could get a golf ball down that. So, let's have a look. And then, protection label for airbag, do not mount module if label is damaged. Okay, and you can see the other half of this metal cover bursts upwards, ripping the dashboard apart. And that's quite stiff. You can see, it just bursts open. So, no side one went off on the other side of my car, even though the impact was on my front right corner. I'll now show you the damage to the other side of the car. Anyway, that's, that's the dashboard. I mean, this is the airbags I've just shown you. Three airbags have gone off. I'll quickly show I've already filmed the outside, but I'll show the outside. Hold on a second. In fact, I'll do that in a separate video. So that's the inside of the car, what it looks like after a crash. And I've got bruising to my knees, and that's got to be, I've just worked out, it's got to be from this hitting the steering wheel. When the impact was to the front, my knees must have come up, and I've got quite a bad bruising. Yeah, I might as well show you, actually. Yeah, all down my knee area, and you've got cuts there, not, fortunately it doesn't seem to be deep, but I've got cuts and bruising all around my knees. I'll show you the other knee. And that's with an airbag. So God knows how badly he'd be injured if he didn't wear airbags. And there's my other knee. Yeah, that's looking quite nasty now. And they're, they're stiff in the area. Pretty, un out. Pretty uncomfortable. And I've also got some bruising on my chest up here. Um, again, don't know what that's from, do I? Really don't know if, if I went, I must have gone forward and hit the perhaps I went forward and hit the steering wheel even with the airbag there sort of thing I don't know but I've got bruising on my front left chest area um, right I'll film the outside of the car in a different video oh just to show you also you can see the um, air vents have popped out of the dashboard a bit I get my fingers in there that that popped out hazard warning light was no longer working when I went to put them on after the crash hazard warning doesn't work um, central locking no longer works I couldn't lock the car at night because the door is now I don't know if you can see that gap there the, the door doesn't shut properly it's all because that door there is mashed up on the outside so cars so badly damaged I don't think it's gonna be fixable anyway this is a Volvo S40 after a crash at I don't know what speed other driver was doing but uh, it hurt oh, and as you can see had a dash cam mounted on here that went flying in the crash it took me ages to find that I looked under the seats I looked in the back I couldn't find it anywhere eventually I found it rammed under one of these seats so dash I've got dash cam footage of the crash to show the insurers that went flying and also had a sat nav mounted down here that went flying as well I had a I had um I don't know what you call it it's kind of like a bag that you hang through the top of the seat here so that you've got pockets to put stuff in I had a camcorder in a pocket here again that had gone flying when I opened my car after the crash um, the bag was down on the floor down there and the camcorder was nowhere to be seen I looked under all the seats it wasn't there it was nowhere eventually I found the camcorder outside the car it must have must have ended up down the side of one of my either my front um, driver's side door or the rear driver's side door and it, it must have dropped out as soon as I opened the car for the first time I didn't hear it drop because it went into mud so camcorder is damaged I can no longer record with it SJ cam seems to be damaged it uh, it won't hold I tried to record with it since then it won't um, stay on so I've got other personal stuff damaged but main thing is I'm not severely damaged right anyway thanks for watching this um, I'll make another video to show outside the car possibly thanks for watching bye bye